Guys, it's me again, Patman Senatiraja, your upline, MD of the VV partner, but most importantly, a networker who started his journey in 1998 and achieved financial freedom. Now, along my journey, all right, with the V, I've created a lot of training DVDs. I can't even remember how many. But one of the training DVDs which I was most proud of, which I am most proud of, is the eight basic building blocks. Because that was fundamental knowledge which I use practically in my journey to become successful in this business with QNET. Now the eight basic building blocks video which you have watched, which has been distributed all over the world in so many languages, was over two hours. So thank you for being so patient and watching that video and I hope it helped you become more successful in QNET. But this time, as I traveled around the world, I had many requests that Chief, we love your video but can you make it shorter? So I'm trying my best. I'm going to create this time eight basic building blocks, compressed, express, unbelievable, whatever you want to call it. But the bottom line, I'm going to try to share with you my wealth of knowledge which I got from Datu Vijay for my uplines as to what are the fundamental basic knowledge, the basic do's and don'ts of your journey as a networker in QNET. So the eight basic building blocks I'm going to be presenting today, you'll be watching, is shorter, more concise, but still equally effective. Most importantly, watch this video, understand it, do exactly what I say, all right, and you become successful in QNET. Apply it on your everyday journey in this amazing industry called network marketing. So guys, welcome to a whole new experience, a whole brand new, unbelievable, eight basic building blocks. Basic building block number one has always been my favorite, something which I believe in fundamentally in my heart as the most important basic building block you need to understand, you need to internalize and apply it very, 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 very diligently in your journey in network marketing. It's simply called the dream. Now, as you know, the word dream I use everywhere in the world without hesitation. Today, I see modern networkers. People who go there and change the word dream to something else. Don't waste your time. It's a dream, it's a dream, it's a dream. Without it, don't waste your time starting your journey with QNET. Now, the dream, all right, to me, was what got me started. Now, as you know, when you start your journey in anything, not only QNET, you need a reason why you're starting the journey. You need a destination, where you're heading, what results you want to see. And that's fundamentally what a dream is about. Now, to me, I started my journey and I had a lot of dreams. Unbelievable. I wanted the car, the house, the Rolex watches. I wanted everything possibly a rich person could have. But fundamentally, the dream I really wanted right was that i wanted to stop being poor i wanted to reach a point in my journey with qnet where i could achieve financial wealth financial freedom and become wealthy like the people i see all around me the people i aspire to be the dato vjs of the industry of network marketing now the dream is a very interesting topic because all of you sitting there watching this video right now it's clear in your mind I have a dream. Oh yes, Patman, I know what I want. I want a Ferrari. I want a brand new car. I want a, I want a Ferrari. I want a house. All right? I want my wife to stop working. I want to send my kids to the most amazing private schools. I want my holidays to be five star. Fly business class. Or most importantly, wake up every morning and not worry about money. Now, I'm not doubting the fact that you have a dream. Or not, you wouldn't have signed up with QNET to begin with. The fact that you have joined QNET, congratulations. But you're starting your journey and you cannot start your journey without this. Now the dream, there are no limitations. All right? A lot of people try to tell you what your dream should be. All right? I'm telling you dream what you really, really, really wanted your whole life. Now if you look at all of us at any stage of our life, when we start our journey, all right, our dreams are this. From the time you were born, till the time you get a job. These are your dreams. Huge. Everything you ever wanted is there. Unbelievable. All right? I bet you some of you have some weird dreams. You wanted to travel to Paris. All right? You wanted to, you know, give something to your parents. 
My dream was always to give my mom back a great life. I knew how hard she worked, right? And now I wanted her to live like a queen. Now this dream is fundamentally very important. Now most of you, when you get a job, you go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home, and you get a salary which barely can pay your bills, right? And suddenly you realize that your money you earn is this small, but your dreams was this big. What everyone does is they make their dreams smaller to match the money they have. Now the fact that you and QNet, you don't think like everyone else. You are different. We are entrepreneurs. We wake up in the morning charged up to make a difference. So what I did, I had my dreams. Like all of you watching this video right now. And I knew when I started working, I didn't have enough money to even remotely get 0.001% of this dream. But what happened is, I saw networking. I met Dato Vijay. I got involved in QNet. And I realized the possibility of making this big enough to make my dreams into a reality. That's the choice you have to make. But for me to make this big enough to match the dreams I had, these dreams which I had since I was born in college, in university, growing up, these dreams have to be the most important thing to you. I remembered now what Dato Vijay told me. He told me, Patman, what do you need to live? I said, clothes, uh, food, um, house, car. He said, wake up and smell the coffee. What's the most important thing you need? is oxygen. You need oxygen to breathe. You can have clothes, no oxygen, you die. Right? So the point is, he said, Patman, your dreams must be as important to you as oxygen. That means without your dreams, you die. And that is the most profound statement I will remember what Dato Vijay told me. Without your dreams, you are good as dead. And that is the reality of today's world. So before you start your journey, remember the basic building block number one. All right? You must find your dreams. You must find that one, two, three, four, five, or 20 things that you are willing to pay a price for, which is more important to you or as important to you as oxygen is. Now, I am here today not because I'm smarter than you. I may be better looking than you, but I'm not smarter than you. I am here today because I found my dream and it was as important to me as oxygen. I know it clearly. I know I want it. I was willing to do anything to get it. So you must find that dream. Without the dream, don't start your journey in network marketing because I'll tell you right now, you will fail. The dream is the most fundamental thing in your journey in network marketing. Now your dream can be here, all right? can be in your heart, doesn't matter. I want you now to get a piece of paper and write down every single dream you want to achieve ultimately when you achieve this financial freedom. This piece of paper, fold it, keep it in your wallet, photocopy it, put it on your wall, doesn't matter. But everywhere you go, you must be reminded of one thing. Why did you start your journey with QNET? Your why will be fundamentally always more important than your how. And what is the why in network marketing? It's your dream. You must identify your dream which starts here and ultimately it becomes something you're passionate about. I found my dream. I reminded myself about it every single day. And on the bad days, the tough days, after 20 rejections, what kept me going was my dreams. That I wasn't willing to quit until my dreams became a reality. So my message to you, basic building block number one, all right? Empty your cup, forget everything else and just find your dream. Now, basic building block number two. Commitment. Now, this word, until today, after being in the business for so many years, I still see senior leaders, all right? Okay, people around the world who just look at me like, oh my God, commitment. I don't know why the world is so screwed up that people dislike or are allergic to the word commitment. 
Now, to me, commitment is simple logic. Everything you do in life, you won't succeed unless you make a decision to be committed to it. Right? Now, the same way you started your journey in QNET, you found your dream, basic building block number one, and now what's the next step? You've got to make a commitment. You've got to make a decision right now whether this is what you really want to do. But surprisingly, a lot of people come into network marketing and they drop out. All right? They fail. They say, oh, it's not my cup of tea. This is not something I want to do. Actually, there's no such thing. I believe anyone can be successful at anything if you just make a commitment that you're going to do it seriously. Now, the commitment towards network marketing is a big commitment. All right? It's not like waking up in the morning and making a decision to wear a shirt. All right? It's not like making a decision whether you want to take this road or that road. A commitment here is a commitment which you make 100%. Now, a lot of people who fail in network marketing, people who drop out simply because they're not clear all right, what this commitment is. So if you look at the word commitment, all right, this is the word. Get used to it. Understand it. All right. Now you being there first time in network marketing or you're watching this video, you just started your journey at QNET. All right. Commitment to you means relationship. All right. Commitment means commitment to your job, commitment to your country, commitment to your family. All right. Commitment to a promise you have made. But here this commitment only translates all right, to one thing. How many percent are you willing to commit? Right? So a lot of people tell me, Mr. Butman, I am willing to give 40% commitment. I'm not talking about time, I'm talking about commitment. Right? Now if you're willing to give 40%, don't waste your time in network marketing. The commitment required for you to achieve financial freedom, make your dreams into a reality, is only one thing, 100%. That you are making a decision that this is what you want to do, that you're committed. It's not something you want to try. If you want a hobby, buy a goldfish, put it into a bowl, go back home, look at it, that's a hobby. All right? But this commitment is not about a hobby. All right? It's not something you want to give a try. This is a serious business. Now, if you started a traditional business and invested 200,000 US dollars into a traditional business, what level is your commitment? Now, I've seen networkers for the past few years all over the world. They start, yes, chief, partner, I'm with you 100%. And tomorrow there's a training, they don't come. Tomorrow there's a business presentation, you don't see them. You call them on Sunday and they said, well, chief, I really want to see you, but it's family day. And you know my definition of family day. Husband sitting on the sofa, watching football, drinking a beer, all right? Wife cooking, kids outside playing. That's not family day, that's a laziness. All right, so commitment means you got to make that decision that this is what you want to do. That network marketing is your career. That QNET is your last ship. That this is it. This is what is going to take you towards financial freedom. What is commitment? Is it time? Obviously. If you are committed to a relationship, what is required? Time. All right, now I know most of you are part time in QNET and some of you are full time. For the full time people, commitment means from the time you wake up till you go to sleep, the only thing you do, the only thing you think about, the only focus you have is this business. That's the commitment I require. Now, for the part timers out there, commitment from you simply means, all right, from the time you leave your job, all right, which only pays you a stupid salary, which will not be able to make you financially free at all you start focusing on QNET, on this business. Every single minute counts. You go and show the plan, you do your follow-throughs, you make phone calls, you sit down with your uplines, you strategize everything. Now, if I wanted to summarize, right, commitment required in our business, it's very simple, right? Follow my philosophy. The reason why I'm successful today and standing in front of you financially free, all right, is simply because from the time I woke up, Till the time I went to sleep, the priority on my list in my mind was QNET, was my business, was financial freedom, was my dreams. So all my actions, all my planning, every single moment I spent all right, doing this business, my commitment 
was 100%. Now, don't get me wrong. I still did a lot of things. I chilled with my friends. I watched movies, but those were not my priorities. My priorities was reaching my destination, financial freedom. My priority was making my dreams into a reality. So if you're watching this right now and you just started your journey in QNET, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to tell you, oh, flexible timing, do what you want. It's very good business. You can wake up and not choose to do it. No. If you want financial freedom, if you want your dreams to become a reality, this is the commitment I expect from you. If I brought you into this business, I'll make it clear to you. You need to sacrifice a lot of aspects of your life and commit 100% to this business. All right? You need to wake up in the morning and prioritize number one, QNET. All right? Now, don't get me wrong also. I'm not saying forget your family, forget everything. But balance it. But the balance goes further towards your commitment to this business. Because you are not in a hobby. You are in a business. You are now a businesswoman or a businessman. And anyone running a business requires a 100% commitment. So decide now. If you are coming in with 40% commitment, 98% commitment, 87% commitment is not good enough. The only commitment required is that you come in 100%. So basic building block number two, commit commitment all right it's a strong word which you have to take seriously but if you understand it and you make that commitment right now that you're going to take this journey seriously you will become successful in this business basic building block number three the list now it sounds so unimportant okay because to you and to me, even when I started, a list means what I write down when I go to the supermarket to buy my groceries, right? A list is people I want to invite to a birthday party or things I need to buy for, for a dinner party. The word list, I never understood how important it is until I got into this business and applied it in my journey. Now, basic building block number three is simply called list. Now, you look at it, it's nothing. Traditionally, a list would be a piece of paper with a list of things on it. But here, I'm talking about the list of names. Now, wake up and smell the coffee. Network marketing is about people, people, and more people. You're not signing up camels, cats, and birds. You're signing up people. All right? Your network grows with people. All right? So now, the point is, the reason why I place a lot of emphasis on basic building block number three the list because everyone thinks they have their life organized everyone thinks oh, I don't need a list chief I have it in my phone I have it in my iPad I have it in my you know personal computer or my laptop no unacceptable my philosophy of networking for so many years and still today the list of names must be handwritten by you on a piece of paper with a pen there is a psychological reason for it that that's the only time you start to take it seriously so based on the earlier basic building block number two commitment if you're committed to this business then equally you must be committed to this concept called the list now the list is very simple what are you doing you're taking a piece of paper and you're writing down names of everybody you can think of all right who you are going to present the QNET business to. Simple, isn't it? Now, the biggest mistake people make in the list, you suddenly become an expert. You take the piece of paper, you think of a name. My cousin, nope, very rich, not interested. All right? Oh, my doctor, ah, but he's already driving a Ferrari, not interested. Guys, don't make that mistake. Never, never, never prejudge. My list had everyone, all right? The prime minister of the country was on my list, but sad to say, it's not easy to secure an appointment with him to show him the plan. But if I could, I would have showed him the plan. The list doesn't require any form of prejudging, nothing. You just create a list of everyone and anyone you know. Now, to help you with the list, I've created a system where the list is divided to three parts. Very simple. The first one 
is hot like me all right the second one is warm all right and the third part of your list is cold all right now this categorize the people in your life because you need to know this the people in your life are divided to hot warm and cold this represents the relationship category or the intensity of the relationship between you and the people you're going to put on your list all right now hot means who people you're really super duper close to all right your brother your best friend your mom your dad your uncle your favorite cousin all your colleagues who are very close to you that's your hot list now the hot list is fundamentally very important because these are the people all right who you're going to show the plan to first why because it doesn't require you to be an expert in networking to show your brother the list all right to show your brother the plan i picked up the phone and told my brother hey let's meet up for coffee show him the plan no worries nothing to worry about because you know them but they may also be the people who are the first ones to tell you no i'm not interested why because they are hot that means they're very close to you that means they also know you whether you're serious whether you're committed whether you're serious about doing this business long term and then you have warm warm acquaintances everyone in your office is warm unless you've never spoken to them all right people in your neighborhood your neighbor all right your friendly restaurant where you've been there going there for 10 years all right your cousins who you meet on christmas thanksgiving you know diwali eid okay all right now all those people all right are on your warm list this is a huge category now my favorite is the cold list the cold list are people you have met you bump into them on a regular basis but you have never spoken to them you don't know their name you don't even have their number all right your cold list is everyone you meet the bus stop guy who's been standing there three months next to you the taxi driver you get into a taxi for the first time he's cold all right getting his name and number is very easy especially from a taxi driver and you put him on your list so your list has to basically be something written down and you carry with everywhere you go now the minimum number in your list why minimum because or not you're gonna have two people in your list my wife and my daughter doesn't qualify the minimum number in your list must be 150 people why because I did enough research a normal human being anywhere in the world will know easily 150 people minimum in their circle of influence unless you lived in the mountain the himalayas alone your whole life then i would excuse you for having one name in your list your own all right but here wake up and smell the coffee everyone knows at least 150 people now but when i say minimum don't stop at 150 if you got a thousand people even better if you got two thousand people even better because this business is about people 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 the more people you have on the list you show them all the plans your chances of finding the partners will be higher all right the chances of you finding more switched on networkers will be higher it's a mathematical formula the more prospects you have on your list the chances of you signing up more people is simply higher it's simple logic so don't hold yourself back put everyone on your list now if you know my concept called rule three or the three golden rules of networking this list must always grow so this list you have written down with a minimum of 150 names don't stop okay i've done it fold it put it in pocket finish no everywhere you go you add people to your list because you're human you live in a community and society so you eventually will meet new people practically every day every week every month where do they go the list now this you must do you must write down it must be on the piece of paper and you must do this immediately after watching this video take a piece of paper out and write everyone you know don't prejudge everyone goes on the list that's a very important basic building block the list basic building block number four the art of inviting and prospecting Now I love this basic building block because I truly enjoy it, all right, learning about this art of invitation and prospecting. Now please don't misunderstand me, you don't have to be an expert. 
is actually human nature. Right now, you are in a business, network marketing, QNet, where you're dealing with people every day. Right? Every day, you've got to be on the phone. You're inviting people to come to your home to see the presentation. You're inviting people to the hotel for a business presentation. All right? You're bumping into people everywhere you go. Now, if you don't know how to talk, all right, then this business may not be your cup of tea. So you've got to change. So I met somebody once who said, Oh, Mr. Putman, I love networking, but I'm very shy. Hey, stop being shy. All right? Because you stay shy, you stay poor. So wake up and smell the coffee. The art of invitation, inviting people, all right, and prospecting. Now, why prospecting? The word prospecting came from the word where people prospect for gold. In the olden days, those who go and look for gold were called prospectors, all right? They go with the prospect of finding gold, the same thing. You're looking for more people who could be your potential downlines, who could sign up with you in QNET. All right, now inviting is inviting somebody to come and see the business presentation for the first time. Inviting people to a hotel, right, because there's your upline showing a presentation to 40, 50, 400 people. Now, there are many ways of doing it, but I do it human nature, right? Now, it depends who you're inviting. Now, a lot of people have asked me, Mr. Putman, please teach me the professional way of inviting. Well, you're right. There is a professional way of inviting and a not professional way of inviting. I always divide it into two categories. The professional way would depend very much on who I'm inviting. If I'm inviting somebody I don't know very well in my cold contact list, the cold category we just did in basic building block number three, all right, I would pick up and say, hi, good evening. Remember, John, we met. John, I was wondering whether we could have a cup of coffee. I have an interesting business concept, which I would appreciate your opinion. Now, if you like what you see, let's take it a few steps further. So what's day, what day is good for you, Monday or Wednesday? Now, whenever I invite people, I always invite them with the concept of choice because human mind is easy to trick. If I tell you, let's meet on Monday, and then you say, no, I'm not free. Tuesday, not free. Wednesday, not free. Thursday, not free. You're stuck. So what I do, I give a choice. I always tell people, what day is good for you? Monday or Wednesday? And naturally, they would choose. Now, it doesn't work all the time, but for me, it works most of the time. Now, what is the invitation about? You are inviting him to see the presentation. You are not showing the presentation during the invitation. That's why it's called invite. All right? The next basic building block, we talk about how you show the plan or the presentation. But this is invite. Guys, you are experts in this. You have invited people for your birthday party, for your child's birthday, for a barbecue by the swimming pool. You have invited people just to come home and watch a movie. You already know how to do this. But now you're inviting them a little bit extra to listen to a business presentation. So I pick up the phone and I said, Naresh, Patman here. All right, hey, listen, can we catch up for a cup of coffee? Why? What is it about? Well, you won't believe this. But I just came across an unbelievable business concept. I'm very excited about it. And the first name that popped into my mind is yours. All right? So give me 40 minutes. If you like what you see, let's take it further. If you don't like what you see, it's cool. I don't like pressure tactics because I put myself in the prospect's shoes. Always treat your prospects the same way you want to be treated. So I'm sure you'd want somebody to call you, hey, I've got a fantastic business, you have to see it, please come now, it's fantastic, it's networking, you buy a product. No, don't give any information. You are inviting, right? So there are many techniques out there. If you're talking to somebody you respect, somebody older, somebody extremely successful, I use the technique of picking up the phone and say, hello, uh, sir, if you don't mind, I need some time from you. Can I come over to your office and see you, all right? Because I came across this amazing business concept and I would appreciate your opinion on it. Now, the guy feels great because you're asking his opinion, but ultimately, I have one rule. I don't care how I get the person to see me as long as I get the person to sit across me so I can present the QNet business. So, invite, invitation is very important. The art of invitation is be simple, with the least amount of information, ultimately, you want to get the appointment. You want the person to come and sit across you. Now, prospecting, again, human nature. You go out every day your whole life. You meet people every day, all right? Before QNet, 
It's cool. It's normal. You shake hands. You go for parties. All right. You go everywhere. But now you are a networker. Now you're prospecting for gold. You're prospecting for potential signups, potential prospects to put into your list. So now when you go out, you have your networking radar. Remember, all right? The minute you sign up as a networker with QNet, something happens and you get a radar. And that radar detects anyone who could potentially be your prospect. Now this radar has to be switched on all the time. You go out to the bus stop, radar on. You get into a taxi, radar on. You go to a party, radar on. What's prospecting? Prospecting is ultimately getting the name and phone number. Not talking about the business, not talking about the plan, not taking out your product and showing him in the middle of a party, somebody's birthday party here and you are here telling, gather around, I got a great product, believe it. Guys, don't be a person who's kicked out of every party and never invited for a future party. All right? Art of prospecting is simply getting the name, getting the phone number. Be yourself, shake hands. Where do you work? Or what do you do? Oh, I run my own business. By the way, do you have a name card? Everyone today carries a name card for a reason. They feel good when they give it away. I love this concept for networking. Right? It's very good for us networkers. Because everyone gives a name card. And taxi drivers have name cards. Stewardess on the plane have name cards. Everyone has a name card. Your job in prospecting is ultimately get the name, get the number. All right? So the art of invitation and prospecting is fundamentally a very important basic building block. Because this makes you an expert in securing the appointment to show the plan. That's your ultimate goal. And this makes you an expert of getting people to add into your list. So, art of invitation, prospecting. It's as simple as human nature. Anyone can do it. Basic building block number five. Showing the plan or doing the presentation. ultimately in any business around the world there is something called the core activity there are many activities in any business but there's one thing called core activity that means if you're running a restaurant what's your core activity cooking food all right not decorating the walls the decorating the walls and how your restaurant looks is a secondary concern the core activity of any business must be the focus of the person involved in the business now you are now part of QNET you're part of a hundred over billion industry, all right, called network marketing. Now, network marketing has one core activity that is showing the plan, doing the presentation. Now, basic building block number one, the dream. Building block number two, commitment. Building block number three, the list. Building block number four, inviting and prospecting. Now you come to the fundamental core activity of the whole business called showing the plan. Now, there is no right way which is specific in nature, how you're going to show the plan. Now, the plan is not to convince the person. The plan is sharing information. Now, this is very important for you to understand. All right? Sharing information, giving information, and convincing is different. Convincing means you work very hard to convince the person. Ultimately, I have one simple philosophy in my whole journey in this business. You cannot convince anyone. They convince themselves. Your job is to give enough information to help him make a decision which you want, which is yes, I want to be part of QNET. I want to sign up right now. Now, the plan is very simple. All right? Don't complicate it. All right? In QNET, the plan is simply divided to four parts. All right? Showing the plan. I'll put it as TP. Okay? All right? First, obviously, you've got to talk about the company. So you talk about the company, all right? What information do you give about the company? As much information as you think the person needs. If you are meeting your auntie who's 65 years old, let's not complicate her life and talk about e-commerce and how the internet works and all that. That's too much information. So people ask me, how long should the presentation be? Well, my presentations are 12 minutes, sometimes 10 minutes. Sometimes on the plane, when I'm sitting next to somebody, I can do the whole plan in five minutes. Now, that's the plan. Now, if they ask questions, I answer, that's no longer the plan. So, showing the plan is systematic, very simple. Now, I'm not going to specify how you should do it. 
I'm just going to tell you what information you must have in it. All right, you must have the company, you must have the products, which is fundamentally important. Now, do you talk about all the products? You cannot, because today QNET has hundreds of products. Your plan is going to be as long as one week. You check into a hotel and show the plan, then go to sleep, wake up, continue showing the plan. Right? So I just give a little bit of information about the types of products that is available. If he shows interest in a specific product, I give him more information. If not, he goes back, go to www.qnet.net and finds out for himself. Everyone uses the internet today. There's enough information on our website all right, to satisfy his hunger for product knowledge. And then I talk about the comp plan or the compensation plan all right, of QNET, okay? which is very simple. Three on the left, three on the right, you get paid. All right? Now, don't complicate it. Don't draw one whole whiteboard word of diagrams to show him. Because remember, after he signs up, he must continue learning. So what are you giving? You are giving enough information to help him make a decision that he wants to join. That's all. Too much information, you switch him off. Too little information, he may say, no, I'm not sure, let me think about it. Now, showing the plan has to be done properly in the right environment, all right? Okay, and a restaurant, not too noisy. He comes to your house, you go to his house. Office, I try to avoid too many things happening, all right? So when you're showing the plan, you've got company, you've got products, you've got comp plan, all right? And then the fourth one is potential scenarios, okay? Potential simulations or scenarios, all right? Okay, where you show him different possibilities of how he can make money and how much money he can make. Different possibilities of where he's going to put his mom, where he's going to put his best friend, all right? What happens when he gets six year and five year? What happens when he got 10 serious people, 10 serious people, and they each bring one sign up every month? A lot of scenarios to excite him. All right, into understanding the true potential of how much money he can make. Now, what is the plan about? Should he be product focused? Should he be company focused? Well, my concept is very simple. Give enough information about anything, but ultimately focus on the money. All right, focus on the opportunity, focus on the income. Because I didn't get into network marketing to buy a product. I got into network marketing to become financially free. So what excited me when I saw the plan was how much money I can make but equally, the plan cannot be a lie. You cannot say, no work, and you become a millionaire in one month. That's a lie. That's misrepresentation. You get in trouble. He's going to sign up and wait for one month. Money doesn't come from the sky. You're in trouble. So wake up and smell the coffee. The plan must be attractive enough, all right? but not a lie, not misrepresentation. That's very important. So I make my plan super attractive to excite him and give him enough information to make a decision and the decision you want is simply yes that's what you want him to say so give enough information now the plan has to be done professionally be prepared now there are people who use laptops powerpoints projector all right all those kind of things well i'm patman sinati raja i'm simple piece of paper a pen if he wants to see a website, I have an iPad, open the website, show him the products. The world of technology is going to advance, but ultimately it's between you and him. Human nature applies. They want to see simplicity. Because what you do, he has to duplicate. So when he sees me with a pen and paper, he thinks, man, this is easy. I, even I can do this. That's very important. So everything you do in network marketing must be able to be duplicated by everyone. So the plan is about giving enough information to excite the person so that he can make a decision and the decision you're looking for is yes. Make it attractive, make it unbelievable, but don't cross the line and lie and misrepresent. So ultimately this is the core activity, basic building block number five. Show the plan, show the plan and show more plans because this is what's going to take you towards financial freedom. <laughs> Basic building block number six. Follow through. Now, I got to write this down, okay? All right? 
and this is fundamentally very important all right now i'm spelling through my way okay all right when i did first this video eight basic building blocks i used the example of golf even though i didn't play golf and now i actually play golf when you're financially free you play golf all right that's what we do all right and the follow through is simply the same concept as golf now golf you have a club and you have a small white ball all right and your purpose is to hit the white ball as far and accurate as possible now when you start and you go up like this and you're ready and then you hit the ball and if you stop the ball just goes dink and doesn't move anymore all right and the only way the ball is going to go far is a point impact which is basic building block number five showing the plan after showing the plan you got to follow through see that's a professional golf swing all right and only with the follow through does the ball go where you want it to go and ultimately getting the person to say yes and close now the follow through is most of the time when you show the plan majority of people all right won't say yes or no they will say i'll think about it all right human nature they fear commitment they don't want to make a decision because it involves money it involves a decision to become a businessman businesswoman or a decision to be involved in network marketing so people hesitate so every time I show the plan majority of people around the world everyone I've showed the plan to tells me well Patman I like it why do they say they like it all right they don't want to hurt your feelings or maybe they genuinely like it then they said all right let me think about it and I'll get back to you Ta -da! that's the most dangerous thing when they say I'll get back to you most probably they won't call because they get busy with their lives all right but ultimately for you the follow through is fundamentally important because the follow through all right is done after showing the plan after you show the plan you follow through now when you show the plan let's say on Monday all right the question is when do you do the follow through I have one simple rule you must follow non-negotiable don't modify it the follow through must be done within 48 hours now why you may be thinking is this rule so important that the follow through must be done in 48 hours simply put this when you show anyone something exciting like a child all right when they see something exciting and you don't talk about it you don't follow through within 48 hours they forget about it all right danger number one they just forget about it human nature they lose interest number two more than 48 hours that prospect who you showed the plan, basic building block number five, show the plan, he would have spoken to the whole world and asked people's opinions. Uncle, mother-in-law, neighbor, veterinary doctor, taxi driver. Hey, my friend showed me this networking business called QNet. What do you think? Oh, networking doesn't work. A lot of you, you know, he accumulates a lot of negativity. All right. And then you meet him after one week. He said, I'm sorry, La Patman, I don't want to do this business. Please don't talk to me anymore. Don't be my friend. You know, you know, you understand these kind of things happen. All right. So what's fundamentally important? 48 hours. Like I said, strike when the iron is hot. Because when the iron gets cold, you can't bend it anymore. You can't get the person to make the right decision for his own life or her own life. The bottom line, follow through must be done in 48 hours. Now, what is follow through? Follow through is picking up the phone calling the guy to get him to meet you again all right to decide whether he wants to join you or not he wants to be part of qnet or network marketing or not now this is what people hate to do because we hate rejection because the follow-through is where you get a yes all right or a no from the person yes you celebrate rejoice one more person join your network you have a brighter chance of becoming financially free but when people say no they go into depression i have my new downlines calling me and say oh my god but when the guy said no hey don't freak out all right some will say yes some will say no that's why i have this sw all right some will some won't so what someone's waiting somewhere all right there's another prospect somewhere sw so why panic why freak out all right the golden rule is network marketing is not an emotional business network marketing is some will say yes some will say no you move on to the next prospect you move on to the next name on your list and you continue doing and trust me you will find great leaders who's going to help you build your network to the point of financial freedom all right the point is now what do you do in the follow-through follow-through is basically handling objections 
Because the person is going to come to the follow through with a lot of questions where he got from his neighbor, wife, mother-in-law. Uh, some people say it's illegal. Some people say it won't work. I, my mother-in-law said this business is a scam. All right? Remember the three F's. Feel, felt, found. Always answer any objections with feel, felt, found. I know how you feel. That, that's exactly how I felt. But this is what I found out. So follow through. All right, is fundamentally the moment where you understand what he's thinking, all right? Where he's at. Is he leaning towards a no? Is he leaning towards a yes? Does he have valid questions and objections? Now, be prepared during your follow through for some stupid objections and questions, all right? How I know this company will last, all right? I get irritated sometimes and I said, How I know you won't die right now? There's a realm of possibilities. But network marketing requires patience and professionalism. You answer their questions to the best of your ability. Feel felt found to reduce the aggression. All right? And if the person still says, no, I'm not interested. All right? No problem. All right? Let's catch up for coffee one of these days anyway for old time's sake. Don't remove his name. Don't throw it away. Keep it in KIV because the moment of his life that time he's at a moment of his life where network marketing is not something he's looking for but one year from now when he loses his job and he's broke or he realizes that go to work come back home go to work come back home go to work come back home is not his cup of tea he may even call you back so keep him in KIV I never throw anyone out of my list even they say no I put them in KIV one weekend when I'm not doing anything I call and say hey let's catch up for a cup of coffee he's gonna ask you how your business is and if you change your car from a Toyota to a BMW and you're wearing an expensive watch, trust me, he's going to ask you more questions showing his interest, possibly coming back and saying yes. So the follow through is fundamentally important, unavoidable, must be done within 48 hours. Remember, like how I train all the great golfers like Tiger Woods, you get prepared, all right, you swing and you must follow through all right and then you get what you want ultimately if it's a yes it's a yes if it's a no move to the next person some will some won't so what someone's waiting somewhere basic building block number seven counsel your upline Now, the word counsel, simply put, all right, means that you cannot do this business alone. All right? A lot of people, you have been referred by somebody. Somebody showed you the QNET plan, all right, and you signed up. Now, that person is your upline. All right? That person may have a lot of experience in the business or maybe equally one day older than you. Now, what you need to identify is who in the line of sponsorship, that means your uplines upline, your uplines upline, the person who brought you that upline, 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 upline. You need to identify one person who is a leader, all right, who has enough experience, all right, who has been through the business and achieved a certain amount of success, what I call your working upline leader, all right, and you need to realize that that person is your support line. That person is the one who's going to be guiding you educating you, motivating you, inspiring you all throughout your journey. Now that, that person can be one year in the business, two years in the business or six months in the business. All right? It really depends. Now counseling your upline fundamentally means what? That means first, wake up and smell the coffee. You're not alone in this business. You work in a team. In every team there is a leader, a lead bird, somebody with more experience and more knowledge in this business. Now, that person is fundamentally important. For me, it was my upline, Dato Vijay Ishwan. All right? So every step I took in my journey in QNET, every step I took in my journey in networking, every step I took all right, to achieve success, I counsel with him. What does counseling mean? Doesn't mean you go there and sit down like an idiot and say, please counsel me. No, you go there, all right, clearly what you want to achieve. You go there clearly with a strategy in mind, what questions you want to ask. What do you want answers to? To me, my upline was Dato Vijay. So every step of my journey, I counseled with him. 
Now, what does counsel mean? It doesn't mean go to him and say, excuse me, upline, please counsel me. Great leader, tell me what to do. No, counsel is a strategic discussion. Because you may be first time in network marketing, or even if you have been in another network marketing company and you decided to come to the best QNET, wise decision, doesn't mean you can apply all your experience and not require the assistance of an upline who has been through this journey in QNET. All right? So I used to sit down with Dr. Vijay and counsel him for everything. All right? Think about it. I show a plan. I go to my upline and counsel. How should I follow through? He had these questions. He had these concerns. All right? I earn my first check. I go to my upline. What do I do now? How do I keep earning consistent checks? I want to buy a house. When I made a lot of money, I counsel my upline. I want to change my car. I counsel my upline. I'm building locally. I want to go global. I counsel my upline. So your upline becomes a place you constantly go to. All right? I spend every single night talking to my upline. Over the phone or I go and meet him. I sat with Dato Vijay like a humble student with an empty cup with the purpose of him guiding me. Why? Simple logic. He has made it. I want to be where he is. He's finished the journey. So why do I need to reinvent the wheel? I just counsel with him, seek advice from him, seek guidance from him, and I'll be where he is. And it's true. All right? I achieved financial freedom because I knew that I don't need to reinvent the wheel. I just have to constantly counsel my upline. Now, counseling your upline, there are parameters to it. It's up to you. Right? I took Vidato Vijay as my upline and my mentor. A big word, but it's true. Right? That means I counsel him everything to be networking and also my personal life. All right? How I should grow as a person. How should I become a better leader, a better upline. Now it's up to you what parameters you want to draw with regards to dealing and counseling with your working upline leader. Now some people say only business and nothing else. Nothing wrong with that. Moronic, but nothing wrong with that. All right? Because business and who you are is connected lah, in network marketing. Because if you're not a good father, you're not a good son, you're not a good citizen of a country, most probably you won't be a good networker. All right? Because all the characteristics of a good person makes you into a great networker if you have those characteristics. So remember, find that upline. How many levels up doesn't matter. Find somebody you respect. Find somebody who's successful. Find somebody who's made it in this business or made enough in this business. All right. First, go talk to the person and say, excuse me, can you be my working upline? All right. Now, if the person who immediately referred you is good, great, still young, no problem. He can still be the person you counsel. But counsel every step of the way. Don't try to be a hero. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. All right. Just surrender, be a good student. And if you counsel every step of the way, your journey becomes easier and faster towards financial freedom. So counsel your upline every step of the way. That's fundamentally important. Basic building block number seven. Basic building block number eight. Basic building block number eight, the last building block. Now this, most people when they do trainings, I see them doing basic building blocks. All right, they run through number eight very fast because it's finishing. Whew, I finished my training, let me run through it. No, this is fundamentally important because this is what I call a core pillar of the concept of network marketing. Now, network marketing is not about superheroes. It's not about superstars. You can be the greatest networker in the world, perfect presentation, perfect follow through, your dream list, your name list, your commitment is 110%, all right? You counsel your upline every time, but that's good. Only if you can duplicate it. So basic building block number eight, duplicate. Basic building block number eight emphasizes the whole philosophy of network marketing. Now I am a great networker, Patman Sinatiraja. But that doesn't mean I become financially free. The only way I become financially free is when I create hundreds of Patman Sinatirajas. When I create thousands of Patman, all right, that's how I become who I am today. So I'm a good networker, great networker, doesn't matter. The main question is, how many great networkers have I created? How many great networkers have I trained, inspired, motivated and guided that they become as good as me? And here's the clincher or they become better than me. This is the only business in the world where you could be the upline senior leader 
and you want your downlines to actually become better than you. Because I am here today because my downlines today have become better than me. They have created new techniques, how to show the plan. They close more people than I ever did. And I'm happy because all the UV comes back to me. My checks get bigger. Their checks get bigger. It's a win-win situation and we all become financially free. So the concept of duplicate is everything you know in network marketing. You share, you train, you empower. Now in a traditional business, everything you know, you won't give your manager. All right. If you are the CEO of the company, you're not going to share all your knowledge with your manager. Why? Because he's going to take over your company or start a new company and compete with you. Now in network marketing, it's a win-win situation. All right. Whatever you know, you give and ask them to learn even more. Now what Dato Vijay did was he shared his wealth of knowledge, his wisdom, his experience in his journey to financial freedom with me. He never held anything back. He sat with me for hours and guided me and shared with me. And I was thinking, wow, this is a damn good upline. Huh? He's sharing everything with me. And I understood the philosophy. He was trying to create more Dato VJs. He was trying to create more networkers who believe in the concept of network marketing. All right, who's going to build strong, powerful, sustainable networks. Now, starting networking is easy. All right, most people always start great. All right. If you think about it, all right, why duplication is so important, okay, or duplicate is so important, because everyone starts networking, boom, all right, and you are working very hard, and you are showing plans, and you are doing everything full of excitement, but you have how many hours in one day? How many hours do you have in one day? Twenty-four. I checked. Right? The big boss is not going to give me more than 24 hours. So if you are one person and you have 24 hours, all right, that's it. How many plans can you show? How many follow-throughs can you do? How many people can you meet? How many parties? How many presentations? How many trainings can you go to? So after a while, when you max out your 24 hours, your network starts to die. Because there's only one Putman. All right? So the concept of duplicate is to create 1,000 apartments. If I create 1,000 apartments, how many hours in one day do I have? I have 24,000 hours of plans being shown, all right? trainings being done, business presentations being done all over the world. Now this is one aspect of network marketing which is totally different from traditional business. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Create people like you or better than you. Share your knowledge, share your experience, give everything away, all right, so that you create more people like you. And the more people you create, all right, the bigger your check becomes, the closer you reach financial freedom. Now, this is one philosophy that you must take very seriously that network marketing requires you to change the way you think. Basic building block number eight duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. <laughs> Guys, you have just watched one hour of the eight basic building blocks and I know it's a wealth of information. It's unbelievable. I'm surprised that I managed to compress it into one hour. So I'm simply going to call it eight basic building blocks express. Okay. If you watched the past one hour, I tried my best to emphasize the important things of every basic building blocks. Now watching it, understanding it, all right, good. Now it's time to apply it. Now basic, eight basic building blocks express is not enough information, all right? But it gives you a rough idea of what you need as basic foundation to build your network. Now you want more information, get the original eight basic building blocks, which is full length, which is unbelievable. I look younger, but now I'm better looking. So it's still good, all right? So the past one hour, I hope I've impressed upon you the importance of the most basic things in our business the eight basic building blocks express. Now, every basic building block is equally important, even though I emphasize on one or two of them. But ultimately, you watched it. I hope you understand it. Now comes the most important thing. Apply it in your network marketing business with QNET. And I assure you that your journey to financial freedom will be smoother and faster. Just apply everything you just watched. Eight basic building blocks express by partners.